With all the recent hype in the field of AI, it's easy to get caught up in just trying to create the next big thing. However, Professor David Harrell believes it's important to take a step back and focus on the day-to-day -day interactions between humans and machines. And I think the important thing about the paper is that we ask all kinds of questions and we clarify and uh, bring to the surface things that I think, we think, uh, should be thought about by people actually in this era of uh, the amazing uh, developments in AI and deep learning. So how are humans different when interacting with machines? And what factors can influence a change in behavior? So the language is one issue. Uh, trust is another issue. Uh, when we talk to human beings, we will often try to detect from their style, from the, the things that they actually say, whether they are someone we can trust or not. But if it's a machine we're talking to, the issue might completely disappear. On the other hand, we might think to ourselves, if it's a machine and it's been programmed by some clever people working for a long time on programming this machine, maybe I will simply trust everything that that machine says or gives me as an answer. Or an interesting variant on that is if we have auto autonomous vehicles. I mean, try to imagine yourself driving a car and a little bit to your side and to your front there is another car driving. Um, if that is driven by a human being, there is one way I might respond to something that they do. If they overtake, I might say, okay, they're overtaking. Should I overtake? Should I not overtake? If it's a, a machine, if it's an autonomous vehicle, and that machine overtakes, maybe many of us would say, hmm, if that machine is overtaking, then they know what they're doing. They've been trained. They've driven millions of miles in testing. If that car over, overtakes, I should overtake too. Sometimes people might think quite the opposite. That's simply a stupid, uh, you know, robot-driven vehicle. They don't know how to drive. I've been driving for 40 years. I will decide now that I will not overtake or that I will overtake. And again, I'm not saying that I know what will happen. I'm just saying that these issues are things that we have to start thinking about once we are in interaction with not only humans, but with machines. Why, why are these thoughts, these questions, these issues that you're raising, why are they important to discuss? And we think that they are important for several reasons. First of all, because we want to know ahead of time what the issues are in these kinds of interactions. And secondly, maybe even more importantly, I have been involved uh, in research issues that have to do with interacting with computers, languages, software engineering techniques, and so on. And it is our strong feeling that understanding these differences between talking to a human and talking to a machine will and maybe have to impact the way researchers think about and design protocols and, and uh, uh, techniques for interaction between uh, humans and machines. Learn more in the Human or Machine Issue, Turing-inspired reflections on an everyday matter, a research article in the June 2024 Communications of the ACM.